What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Timster. Quest 3 has made some bold moves in recent times, literally recent times. In Zuck's recent interview with Lex, he breaks down the essential of Quest 3, the foreseeable future, and what he's planning on doing. Zuck's claims that Quest 3's mixed reality is actually better than the Quest Pro, which is a $500 USD versus a $1,500 USD approach, which is already a major move moving forward. Zuck's right now seems like he's trying to play chess with virtual reality in this podcast he's confronted with some pretty authentic questions that are hard to avoid and he had to be as transparent as he could without releasing too much information zuck seems to be really calm with even the release of apple vision pro and actually gives some of his insights as to what they're doing in my perspective i feel they are playing chess and they are making some bigger moves right now as zuck goes on saying that quest 3 is 40 percent thinner two times graphics rate he goes on to say the resolution has improved for 499 usd make that good affordable type headset all in one now here's what he says about apple vision pro he was asked about the actual apple vision pro release he actually accepts this as friendly competition and says actually it might help catapult some of that apple audience to actually come on over to meta for the quest 3 and in terms of mixed reality some people that can actually afford the headset are utilizing it maybe those that can't afford it and maybe they can look the other way to at least get an affordable headset that can possibly do the same thing one major thing that Zux does say is that Quest 3 is going to have better mixed reality than the Quest Pro, which launched at $1,500 USD. That's a huge statement to make in terms of performance, a standalone, and at that cost. Another thing he does mention in this interview, which I really enjoyed, is Quest 3 is focusing and honing the social interactions, the gaming, and just entertainment. They made it very clear that they were, and they also said that emphasizing the fact that they're still going to bring control controllers because in terms of gaming like people always want controllers which is why they're giving a much more improved controller essential and actual hand tracking if you want to opt out of utilizing controllers what quest 3 is doing is giving multitudes of options and without being tethered at all but quest 3 has already had tons of experiments and they're slowly moving forward although it is very slowly in terms of versus what apple vision pro is doing but they're doing it at the cost that is very much for the masses in Zucks continues to say that, that he's trying to get it out there and attainable to everybody. At least a majority of people that are new to virtual reality or people that are already heavily induced into the VR culture, which is probably the best way to mainstream. He's actually inspired by the fact that they're both aiming for the same mixed reality approach. They're just in different dynamics and different fields. I feel that Quest 3 is going more the testing route still, while Apple Vision Pro just kind of went all in, which is not bad at all. Apple Vision Pro going all in with their software and hardware uh, of course they got to make it that type of price while quest 3 is kind of just slowly just rearranging and trying to slowly upgrade and make it affordable reinvest and just move with their flaws and improve on those flaws slowly to eventually get into a much more mainstream perspective and bring in like triple a game titles much more within mixed reality and then much more in terms of computing because of computing apple vision pro has already made it clear that it's a huge you know utilization within all all of your iCloud and more that none of them are going to really disappoint in their avenues. They have different avenues and they're different types of headsets. The only thing that Apple will ever have their hand on at their upper hand on right now is of course, people that already trust Apple tech are going to definitely try out this headset or those that can afford it at least. But if you're somebody like me, who's utilized quest and quest two, then you're, you're for sure going to get a quest three. No question because of all the improvements. It was a great interview and Zuck shared tons of information on his insights in terms of being in competition and actually just being for the same vision but just different dynamics and therefore that was kind of the solution of that and that was very enjoyable to know that he's not salty about it he knows it's competition but he knows what avenues they're trying to approach and i think that that's awesome that he keeps going for he said a democratic approach where he's trying to get everybody involved and i feel that that's probably in my opinion that's still the better approach it, it, especially in virtual reality knowing that people are not really trusted and invested into it yet it was a great interview man and y'all definitely got to check that out y'all gotta let me know what y'all think listen to the podcast listen to the interview then come back and, and comment and let me know what's up or if not just comment and, and what you think meta needs to continuously do in order to even bring in people on board to virtual reality i think that they're making the biggest move so far quest 3 making it affordable and making this jump into mixed reality and better than a quest pro man that's that's huge i appreciate y'all so much and uh hit us up with a comment it always means the world peace